traffic conditions are anticipated. Metro warns people don't travel. The 505 was host to about 500,000 cars a day. Do not believe that. The 405? Do not believe that. Go figure, go. Up. Yeah, where did those figures That is come somebody, from? you know, that's oh. a pencil pusher that basically does that. They, four, 500,000 cars a day. No, you have to do the 405 to get to the other things. You, it is the main thoroughfare. Everybody in the state of California that lives here hates the 405. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, basically it stretches from San Fernando Valley south in the city's posh neighborhoods, Beverly Hills, Bear La Bel Air, Irvine, onto Irvine. That's, that's, the, that's the other side of Disney. Coast. I know, I love they say it's the posh neighborhoods. It's just the west side of LA. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it basically. Okay, serve in the beach communities, but. Yeah. They said the LA Fire Department is adding 200 firefighters that can respond to the accidents that are going to happen. Let's see, the LA International is ur ur urging people to use the public transit system, which doesn't work. You can't get a bus from where I live to where you have to go to get the metro. Well, system. some people are lucky and they actually have. Now, oh, we have a brand new system. That goes by right by over there by Sepulveda, but it's never going to get completed. They shut down all the bus stations, all the bus stops, so they could put the brand new metro rail in, and the metro rail is never going to get open because they don't have any money to open it. But you, so they, that's where they the, they get more money raised so that they can open it. But you yeah, know but then and it ends up. Of course, it's not all going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, okay. it's a facetious thing on the good news. So part of it is you're listening to all this stuff and you okay. So you got the picture, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So should we talk about ways to survive it? Oh yeah, we got we got other things. Okay. Surviving so here it. here's the ways to survive Carmageddon or the closure of the four oh five freeway. Okay, for that one area. Number one, like we mentioned, is <laughs> get out of town. Get out of town, which the sensible people are doing, but unfortunately, people don't have money for gas. Okay. Number two, uh, stay home. Stay home. Number three, discover the things that you can do in your own community without having to leave it. Ah. Number four, take alternate transportation. Which like bicycles. Bicycles. <laughs> Walk. But roller skates, rickshaws, you know, anything like that, you know, but don't try public transportation because you'll find it doesn't exist in a lot of areas. Well, part of it is they are having special promotions. Okay. He's looking at me like what? Okay, for buses. If and, you, if and, metro area, rail. and metro rail. So there's special weekend passes for people. We're gonna try something different. It, it only cost me like a quarter to ride the bloody system again because I'm a senior citizen. I have rode the system. You know what it does? It takes you five miles away from where you have to get to. Well, you know... And there's the no they... bus service to get to where you want to go. Okay, see here's part of it is the metro system in L.A. <laughs> oh, let's put it differently. L.A. is not known for its metro system. This is not, not like San Francisco, which is BART, which is magnificent. Or like the tube in London, which is magnificent. Metro rail, it, metro rail really works neat, but it doesn't take you where you need to go, but it works neat. Um, <laughs> so part of it is, is, and I have to admit, the only time I've used the rail system here is from downtown to Pasadena once, twice. Yeah, which we to didn't the do again because that was a mistake. Uh, that was bad. And we take it every time we do And the, down to Long Beach, Long Beach because you can park and then you go into the city. But yeah. it, you're going from point A to point B, right? Yeah, but actually... The Metro Rail does go to within two blocks of the convention center in Long Beach. It's the only... Which is really nice. It's also not that far from um, the convention center in downtown LA. Oh, if you, or well, Hollywood and Highland. Yeah, so those, but the problem comes is when we talk about it from my perspective is you have to go to where it's at because oh, yeah. there is no connecting service. Because the buses really don't connect to where no, the metro is. No, yeah. because they shut the bus services down so that they could build a brand new means of getting you to connect to go downtown. Yeah, so you're either committed metro or bus. So I think. don't think that if you see something that says metro rail, that that metro rail is actually in operation. You know, because they're, yeah, that's true. The garages right? are open. They have started. <laughs> 
Their garages are open. So here's part of it is for that part of your survival guide is go to what, what's the website on this one? This is go to metro.net. This is or just put an LA Metro on a search, right? And it'll give you the information. You can plan your route. It'll tell you exactly where their closures are. It'll tell you where all the maps are. Yeah. yeah. What number are we on? Number four now. I think we're on four. Oh, if you do decide to take a car, check for traffic. Yeah, and and, and, and your nav system. Yeah, and uh, don't count. I, I get the name. Don't count on when you get there. There being a okay. Here, what do Californians do when the weather is bad? They go to shop. Oh, that's true. Which means don't count on the days of Armageddon. Car again. Of, of parking. Oh, yeah. They didn't think about that. But don't worry, there is an ungodly amount of parking spaces available off of the metro well that isn't working. And you can't use the parking spaces because the metro well isn't working and never will be because they don't have any money. Okay. Mm. They didn't even finish construction because they don't have money. Pretty <laughs> real though. Number five. You could take. Although I think all the tickets are sold out, JetBlue was offering four dollar fares between Burbank Airport and Long Beach. And I raised my hand for Saturday. And I yeah. raised my hand. Uh, you have to get there, and how do you get there? I know. You, and have, then you have to, to check use in. the four hundred five, or you have to use an alternate route. Yeah. You can't get to the one hundred one unless you use alternate sources of alternate routes. Yeah, I know. You that should be a short flight, but I always kind of figured that by the time you go through airport check-in, you could have gone around the other ways. Although you could have bought one of those historic $4 tickets. Yeah. Or you can pay an extra dollar okay. and get priority, oh what, advanced book, uh, early seating yeah. okay. for $1. Okay, we're going to try another method that if you stay to the, basically if they go like the 605, I think it's 705, you can bypass all of it. If you're in that part of the north, you go over there, you go to the 15 or the 10, you go bypass it, go like to the 605 or 705. You swing around on the back side and get on the 405. You can travel to um, you can travel to Long Beach in less time than it will take you to stand in a security line at the airport. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just drive around it. Seems a little seems a lot better. People don't understand a four dollar ticket is it worth the aggravation of having to stand in a line? Where they're gonna question why are you flying from this airport to this airport? Why do you not have baggage? Where is your business stuff? They say, Well it's a promotion. Okay, go over there and take all your clothes off. We're gonna have to check you people out. No, they haven't thought they're about it. They're going to have lots of people. You know, and I don't know how many people are actually going to use it if they just bought the tickets more for the fun of it. Um, so that's but it doesn't make any difference. The fact is, they don't, and that was five. That was five? They're, okay, gonna, six. they're going to give, you got to go, the TSA people are out of control. You don't think oh, they're going to have a true. field day with this one? That's true. Okay. Hey, hey, now we're going to tell you the negative things. No, no, no. We've got more things. Oh, more. we are. No, okay. Number six. You have six, but you got to talk to I've got all these. Take one of those helicopter rides so you can go over the city and look at the area. I think it's only like $400. Yeah. And it yeah. probably takes out of, off out of Burbank. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I, 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 here's a good one. It may, it may come out of, it could come out of Van Nuys or it could come out of, of Santa Monica. How do you get to Burbank, Van Nuys, and Santa Monica? Okay, okay. Number seven. Well, I'm, I, I don't think that. Like, number I, seven. Shop. Uh, that's what I said. We've done shop, 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 shop. That's what Californians do. When something goes wrong, they go shop. They'll spend their money, <laughs> but they go clog. Actually, money is spent on, on, on days when the weather is bad. It's in the food courts. I know. Okay. Go to the head for the shopping malls, movie theaters, pubs, or bars. Yeah. Right, he's looking at they're parties. telling you not to drink because you'll get angry at people. <laughs> Oh, and also, by the way, there's additional police that are on the road. Oh, yeah. Um, so maybe you might want to cool it on the drinking a little bit. Yeah, there's going to be lots of drinking going on because you got to understand how many people are going to not buy. Okay, now here's another tip. Uh, the signs that they have alongside the road aren't necessarily always working to tell you not to do something. But it's not because they don't want them to work. It's just they don't have the money. 
Okay, number eight. Listen, listen to common music while you're driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, other thing is, I guess focus on your driving, and as aggravated as you are, don't scream at the other person because you never know what they might have in their car. Yeah, that's right. And there's additional police on the road. Oh, lots of police going to be on the road. The police are going to be crawling with police folks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think the best one, you know, is like the first two, which is get out of town or stay away. Yeah. I think those are still the best ones. Yeah, but... Uh, but in case you can't do those. Yeah, but th 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 you notice there's a common thread with uh, all the top ten things that we just did. Is that there's nothing, there's nothing good about any of them. Because you oh. can't... Oh! Yeah, but we can tell you the bad side. Oh, now we're getting... we're Now we're getting to the area, which is these are all the things Carmageddon is going to be blamed for. Oh, okay, actually it is being blamed. Uh, char Already! Charitable events are being canceled here and shifted elsewhere that are traditionally done in this area because people can't get to the places. Because it, it's not that it can't get there, it's just... Nobody's going to come to a charitable event that they have to drive for three hours to get to for a ten-minute drive. Mm -mm. And then there's not going to be any parking when they get there because they're generally parked elsewhere. Okay, uh, what happens is, uh, here's another thing. And actually, some of these large charity events, they've done them year after year. I think you said, what was it, Jay Leno? Jay Leno. We got uh, a ride for, we got, we got the Jay Leno thing, we got a ride. A uh, ride for a motorcycle ride for charity. We got, a, we got a, I think we have a military thing that's going to be done, riding for, you know, like, uh, to get money for veterans and stuff. We also um, remember that the trick is to, is that what will happen, it, they say, well, these events are anywhere near the freeway. Well, that's right, but what happens is there's no parking in Los Angeles. So what happens is they'll go to where a designated parking area is, they'll park their cars, and then they'll get on the transportation. That transportation doesn't exist this weekend because it's being used for... Carmageddon. Oh yeah, because there is, when you're talking about the buses and the metro and all It's all being shifted. There are additional, um, they are running additional trains or buses or whatever have you. Yeah, and there's not going to be the extra stuff that they basically don't get oh, wow. generally. <laughs>